Hello, John Bloodworth, Gentleman Crafter here, with a little more Scan and Cut chat. Now, many of you will be aware that in Canvas Workspace for PC or Mac, you can use the Fit to Path tool to add text to a shape. If you weren't aware, let me just very quickly show you how that works. Basically, you would add some text, add a shape, select both, and then in the Edit tab, you would come to the bottom and click Fit to Path. This then forms the text around the shape that you've chosen. That's fine, that's great. But there are other things that we can do with it. So for example, here, we can actually fit text along a path that we've drawn. Again, it's the very same principle. You draw the path, you add the text, you select both, and then in the Edit tab, you would fit to path. And you can, of course, use the little blue cross to move that along the path to find the appropriate place to position your text. But what if we have an irregular shape that we've imported from somewhere and we actually want to flow the text along that shape? rather than fit it to the outside edge. Well, this is possible, and I'll show you here. So you can see I've got the text flowing along the center there, but it's a slightly different method to, um, in fact, actually, it's not a slightly different method. It's basically combining these two methods. So we start with a shape, but we also want a path, and there's a specific way that we go about getting that path. Let me shut all this down and then I can show you. Okay, let's start by importing that shape. So I'm going to, to the file menu, import from computer and then I'm choosing the shape that I want to use. And that's this one. Now, so that I can see what I'm doing, I'm going to remove the color fill and turn on the line fill. Okay, so we have our shape. What's next? Well, we need to duplicate it so that we've got a second copy. You can either copy and paste or, of course, use the right-click context menu to uh, use the duplicate function. Now what we need to do is enter the path editing mode. So what I will do is move my cursor over the already selected shape and then click again. Okay, I've got this line selected and this node selected. That's good. So I'm going to open that shape. Next, I'm going to select all of these nodes at the top and the one that's in the middle on the left and delete them. So all I'm left with is that line. Now I will lock the original shape just so that I don't accidentally select it and then I will move this line into the middle. Now I need to add some text, so I will use the text tool. Let's just type a random word in, congrats. Now that I have that, I will apply a color fill just so I can see better on screen. And then I need to select this and the path. Next, in the Edit tab, use the same tool, Fit to Path. Now, it's basically put it underneath at the moment, and that's fine, but I actually want it to run along the center. So, I will go to the vertical alignment and choose Middle. That's now put it where the text, at the middle of the text, sorry, runs along the path. 
I can again use this little blue cross to move it into the center. Now in order to rotate this, I'm going to use the rotate handle. So rather than anything else like the flip tools, I am just going to rotate it. Now for me this works because it's a very similar shape running both ways. However for you, you might find that the flip function would work better. Okay, there we go. Now, what if I want to resize the text? Okay, well, here I can't because if I resize this, I'm resizing the line as well. So I'll undo that using Control Z, reselect the text, and then click on it again to enter the text editing mode. Now I can resize the text and it will automatically recalculate the position of the text. I would need to move that along the line though again so that it fits within the boundaries of the original shape. Click anywhere off the mat and we're almost done just one more thing to change and I will change this text to draw. So now the important part here really is the fact that we've got the shape, which is this one here, and we've got the text, which is this one here. So ignore all this stuff at the bottom, that's all my examples, but basically you would then export this over to your cutting machine, run it through on the draw function to get the text, and then run it through on the cut function from the same file without changing anything uh, to cut the banner out. And there you go, that's flowing text on a path for an irregular shape within Canvas Workspace. I hope you found this hack useful and will give it a go yourself. Of course, remember I've got lots of online courses, tuition on YouTube and Udemy, and of course my new Facebook group. So please do come and find me and get cracking with your scan and cut. Thanks for watching and I will see you next Saturday. That's it for this time. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And for more from me in the future, please remember to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.